You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I have got a Days of Our Lives breaking casting news story for you. If you haven't heard already, John Paul Lavoise, hope I'm saying that right, is coming back to Days of Our Lives as Philip Kyriakis. And it could be for something earth shattering. So the last time Philip was in Salem, it was J. Kenneth Johnson in the role. And he went nuts because of this rivalry to win his high school love, Chloe Lane. And he was fighting with Brady Black over her. And now this return is huge news for a very specific reason. We're going to dig into that in just one second. But if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our Days of Our Lives updates and news. So the last time that Philip Kyriakis was in town, you might remember that Philip has a prosthetic leg (laughs) and he left it in this place to make it look like his nephew Brady Black had killed him because his bright idea was if he framed Brady for murder, Brady would be in prison, Chloe would be free of being lured by him, and then she and Philip could live happily ever after. And that did not work out very well for Philip. And if you don't recall, Philip's mom is Kate Roberts and his daddy is Victor Kyriakis. He was born from in vitro fertilization because Kate was having a problem getting pregnant, I think. And Vivian Alamein stole the embryo and carried Philip, but then they, Kate and Victor later later got him back. So... Uh, John Paul Lavoise, Lavoise, it's so hard to say, is back in August, and he had played the role in from 2015 to 2016. A few people have played the role. J. Kenneth Johnson played him back in like that younger high school era, and then most recently, so he's probably played him more than anybody. So everybody is wondering, of course, why Philip Kyriakis is back. And I suspect there are a few reasons, but there's also a few reasons he could be in big trouble when he comes back. So he played dead, right? And then later the charges against Brady were finally dropped and Kate and Victor had, you know, knew he was alive and they had him institutionalized in kind of a timeout to get his head on straight because he was doing crazy stuff. But now it is confirmed that he is back, but with a different face in JP Lava, Lava Sweat. My goodness. La Voix Say. I can do it, people. <laughs> it has been a year and a half since Philip skulked out of Salem, aided and abetted by Mama Kate and Papa Victor. And this week, Kate Roberts tells Paulina Price that her son is alive and on her phone screen in the promo you can see it's a picture of John Paul Lavoise and not J. Kenneth Johnson. Paulina's jaw drops so with Philip coming back I have to wonder do they have a way to keep him out of jail for faking his death and framing Brady Black. Of interest, if you didn't know this, it's actually not a crime in this country. I don't think in any state. It's not a crime to fake your own death. It is a crime to fake your own death, like to get out of paying taxes. Then you you violated tax law. It is against the law to fake your own death to frame someone for that death. But the simple act of faking your own death, if you don't have some kind of financial gain or you're not trying to screw someone else over, is not a crime. However, in Philip's case, distinctly a crime. So uh, maybe they're going to set it up for some kind of insanity plea since he's been in a mental institution for 18 months. Maybe his ex-wife, Belle Black, can get him out of this messy situation. Also, Philip may return expecting to find Chloe with Brady, and he will be stunned to see that she's with his cousin, Xander Cook Kyriakis, instead. So that also begs the question of whether Philip would try the same crazy scheme and try to somehow frame Xander for some crime to get him away from Chloe. But at the same time, that we're expecting to see Philip back. We're also expecting Sarah Horton to be back in town by then, pregnant, and that could cause some problems for Xander and Chloe. Maybe they're going to be hitting a rough patch about the time that Philip Kyriakis is back, allowing him some kind of in. However, we think that there's a much 
larger and sadder reason that they are bringing Philip Kyriakis back. We'll talk about that in one second, but if you haven't already, please click subscribe so you don't miss any of our day's updates. We'd love it if you clicked a like on this video as well. So the biggest thing that we could expect to happen that would bring Philip back to town is for his father's funeral. Will Days finally show John Aniston full honors, full respect that he deserves, and give Victor Kyriakis a death storyline and a funeral? Um, so if J.P. Lavoise is back as Philip for a funeral, does that mean his stay is going to be just for a short arc? It begs all these questions about the reason they're bringing him back. If they're bringing him back as a foil for Xander and Chloe, it'd be a longer run. If they were bringing him back for his father's funeral and he's still in trouble for faking his death, it might be a short run. It might be him in disguise. It might be him sneaking around just to comfort Kate and to show up at the back of his dad's funeral. So we don't know yet, but we will let you know once we have more information from official NBC spoilers. But what do you think? Are you excited that Philip Kyriakis is back? Are you sad that it's not Jay Kenneth Johnson and and or are you excited to see John Paul Lavoise back in the role? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.